Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're down at the beach here in Southeast Florida to do a little bit of shark teeth hunting. So it took me a while to figure out what to look for, what type of conditions and how to spot the shark teeth. So I figured we'll show you uh, some of the tips we've learned and hopefully help you find some teeth as well. But first, let me take the drone up and show you some footage of the sharks off the coast here and give you some insight into why there are so many shark teeth on the beach. And then I'll take the drone up over the next few days as well and show you the different conditions and the layout of the shell beds and uh, what to look for. So, all right, let's get the drone in there and look at those sharks. Here's a look off the coast on some standard days in Southeast Florida. It's almost a sure thing when flying a drone, you'll see some sharks. Most people don't even know they're there. I've seen snorkelers and swimmers with sharks going around them and the people don't even notice. The sharks are generally very good about staying far away from people, especially on clear water days like this. At certain times of the years, sharks migrate in the thousands upon thousands up and down the coast of Florida. The sharks have been here for millions of years and they've been dropping their teeth as new teeth are replenished. Sharks can have anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 teeth in their lifetimes. They could lose a hundred teeth a day, and they constantly grow new ones. In fact, the black shark teeth we find are considered fossils, and it takes at least 10,000 years for a tooth to turn black. So the fossilized shark teeth found on the beach are at least 10,000 years old, and could be millions of years old. Here's a look at a small portion of the shark migration that goes by the coast each year. If you do the math of this process going on for millions of years off the coast with the billions of sharks that have lived and migrated and each shedding up to 50,000 teeth in their lives, it's obvious there's no shortage of shark teeth. Each windstorm, ground swell, hurricane, or even some light waves will constantly reveal new teeth and push new ones ashore. Also, with Florida doing beach sand replenishment on the beaches each year, they pump tons of sand, shells, and teeth from off the coast each time they do this. Now, let's dive into how to find those teeth. I think the drone perspective of the beach is the easiest way to show people what to look for on the beach when trying to find them. This here is a good example of a normal but pretty good day to look for shark teeth. As I'm flying along here, you can see the large shell beds above the waterline that the waves aren't hitting. A lot of people do try to look here to find teeth, but it isn't easy to find them looking there. Ideally, what you want to see are waves hitting a large shell bed. I find the teeth are much easier to see when they are wet with the bit of glare they give off. Also, each wave that comes up over the shell bed will roll over the shells and potentially reveal more teeth. This spot right here is a good example of that. It isn't the biggest shell bed, but one that likely does have teeth in it. Here's a look at another day on an incoming tide. You can see here there are a small amount of shells lining most of the beach, but what you really want to look for is a larger shell bed to increase your chances of finding teeth. This here is a good shell bed. The waves aren't directly rolling over it yet, but as the tide comes in more, the conditions should improve. These shell beds can get washed away quickly, especially on the incoming tide. I'm going to walk down to the shell bed and see if I can find any teeth. So this is the spot right here that I just saw with the drone. And there's actually not that many shells getting flipped over, revealing um, new teeth, new shells. Uh, the tide's coming up, so it will actually get much better once the waves are hitting this type of stuff right here. There's a lot of good shells right in here. And once this starts moving it around, you'll be able to see the shark teeth a lot easier. Hey 
This last drone shot here is an absolutely epic day for finding shark teeth. Conditions like this are rare, but they do exist after tides, waves, and currents line up perfectly. You can see here the massive shell beds with the waves rolling over them and constantly flipping the shells. This day I talked to a few people and many were finding over 100 teeth. A few people as well were finding some really nice great white shark teeth. This is a view from directly above what I consider a perfect spot to look. If you find a shell bed like this, you barely need to move because the waves are doing all the work for you and churning everything up and feeling new things with each wave. Now let's get out there with the family and do a little bit of hunting. Are you searching for shark's teeth? Yeah, yeah. What? Thank you. Because I had it? Yeah. I'm looking for that. Oh, mommy. Oh, that all the olives. I got all the olives. I got all the olives, too. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I love you so much. They, I didn't have found any sharkies yet. Maybe over there. I want to talk to each other. I think I will look over there. Look at the sharkie that I found. Let me see. Wow, you found that? Yeah. Where'd you find it? In here. Can you find another one? Hope you find a ton of sharkies. These are the names of the sharks.